Hey everybody, it's Jennifer, and um, this is what? Day 15 of my 29 days of transformation using the Law of Attraction series. And um, I'm doing this video a little bit late, but um, it's okay, because it's better late than never. I wanted to do this video to talk to you about how to harness your sexual energy in order to create what you desire in your life. Now, this is a topic that um, I'm gonna expound upon in a few different videos. I can't cover everything in this one video, uh, but I wanted to just introduce this subject because I think a lot of people really don't have a proper understanding of how powerful our sexual energy is. Uh, most people uh, are, of course, excited by sex and excited by the idea of engaging in some type of sexual encounter with another human being. But most of us don't understand how extremely powerful that energy is and that it's something that is not only sacred, but something that we need to actually be uh, mindful of because when we embark in our sexual nature, we're actually releasing life energy that is um, at a level that is unlike anything else that we can experience on the human plane. Let's see, how can I put this in even in an even simpler fashion? I'll just say this. We've already talked about um, over the course of this series that in order to use the law of attraction to create things that you desire in your life, it's all about the energy of feeling good. Well, we all know that in properly done, properly in the, in the right context, sex, sexual energy is one of the highest frequencies of feeling good that humans can experience on this human plane. Uh, but unfortunately, if we're not mindful about how and with whom we're exchanging the sexual energy with, we can actually have the opposite effect and deplete our energy to the point where we are not manifesting and not creating exactly what we want. Now, let me give you an example. Let's just say that you are engaging in sex, some type of sexual act with someone who is uh, angry. They have a lot of resentment. Maybe they're angry towards uh, their parents. They're resentful because uh, they feel like that person wasn't there for them or, um, you know, they're in fear about, you know, whether or not they're going to get a job. They're, they're uh, fearful about their income sources. They're worried about you know, if uh, their things are going to work out for them financially, and you engage with this type, this this particular type of individual, in a sexual manner, manner, you're basically, especially if you are a woman, you're taking on the energy of that partner. So as that person exchanges physical energy with you, they are implanting into your body the energy of fear, the energy of doubt, the, the energy of worry, uh, the, the energy of lack, all of these different energies that this person is feeling internally, they're actually imparting into your body. Now, this is something that is magnified specifically for us as women, uh, but it works the same way for you as for, for men as well. If you are engaging with women that have uh, these type of energy about them, then you are absorbing this as well. And so that's why it's so, so, so important to be extremely mindful of the individuals that you exchange sexual energy with. You, you really need to be mindful of that. And if you are going to exchange sexual energy with someone, make sure that you are setting an intention on what you are exactly creating with this person because through the act, you are creating, you are harvesting a lot, a frequency that is extremely heightened 
And if you actually introduce a, an attention into that space, then you'll be amazed at how things that you desire can miraculously be created. And what I mean by that is you can uh, manifest a new home, you can manifest a car, you can manifest a new job, you can manifest a variety of things in that frequency of that heightened space. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about all of this in the next coming videos, but I just wanted to introduce this idea uh, to you all and um, we'll talk a lot more about it and um, how to harness this energy to make it work for you. So that's it for today. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.